You know, when I'm on a job site and I get a membrane dropped off, I don't really think about all the technology or all the process it takes to go into making a high-tech fabric like this. But on today's Build Show, we're going to take you behind the scenes. I'm actually coming to you from Hadika, Germany, which is about two hours from Frankfurt. And we are at the factory here at the Dorken plant where they actually make these really high-tech products. Let's go see how they do it. Hey guys, this is Matt Reisinger and George Smith on The Build Show. And we are actually in Hattica, Germany. We were at the Bau Show in Munich for a couple days and our friends at Dorken said, hey, if you're gonna be in Germany, you gotta come see the factory. And Jordan and I jumped at the chance because we use a lot of these membranes down in Texas and this is actually where they make some. Now they actually have manufacturing in North America too. But Jordan, walk us through how these membranes are actually made. Yeah, so they manufacture a lot of different products at this plant, but I want to focus on the one that we spent the most time with, and that's the Delta Vent SA. Now, this is a spun cast product where you actually have a, a fiber um, mat on the bottom, and then you have a polymer membrane in the middle, and then you have another fiber mat on top, creating a composite material. You get the strength and the UV protection from the bottom and you, you get the strength and the UV protection from the top and then you have your smart membrane in the middle that does all the cool stuff with air sealing and water vapor permeability and all of that. So how they make this is they take the polymers in a pellet form, mm -hmm. they bring it into the production line, they heat it up and then they co-extrude it. So they add additives to the outside shell mm -hmm. and then they use just the pure polymer on the inside because it makes a more, uh, a, a better product. It's like putting sunscreen on the outside. You want the sunscreen on the outside of your skin that protects from the UV. Right. You don't want to put it on the inside because it doesn't do anything. It just costs more money. So a really cool way of making this, even though it's not at, by any stretch of imagination a cheap product, mm -hmm. it's a very valuable product, right? Yeah. They're just not throwing gold dust at Smart. it to make it they're putting the gold dust on where it matters to have have that so this comes down and it creates really thin coaxial polymer strands that sort of look like barbie hair um, they're 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 extruded out and they're dropped down and then they like spaghetti on top of this conveyor that's moving very fast yep. creates this mat that mat is then squished down to a certain thickness uh -huh. everything is checked for thickness and then this mat comes out, they have another polymer roll that is the membrane that has all of the air tightness and vapor permeability characteristics that you want. And then what I was talking about before, they sandwich it together to where you have a spun mat, and then you have the polymer membrane, and then you have the spun mat on top again. And this is ultrasonically welded, which is a really cool process to where you have a hammer and a rolling anvil and this, this, this sandwich, composite sandwich comes through and it ultrasonically, so higher than we can hear, this hammer is vibrating Whoa. across this, I don't know, it looked like maybe a two meter wide roller and these things are hammering down there super fast, over 20,000 times per second wow. to weld these three materials together and then it goes on through the line and gets rolled up and sliced down into the smaller uh, smaller rolls for distribution, but a really cool process. And they control it all from polymer pellets all the way to final roll, which really surprised me. I expected most of these companies to be buying a raw, a raw sheet good material and then combining them with some magic sauce and selling right. them as house wrap, but they don't. They, they do the whole thing. Not only do they do the whole thing, but they invent processes to create better house wrap. So there's a whole lot of stuff that I can't talk about on how they make this, uh -huh. different additives that they do, that they invented that process to make a better, more suitable house wrap instead of going out and finding a sheet good on the market and then trying to convert that to a house wrap. So I was really impressed with the manufacturing process. Guys, let me introduce you to my friend Marcus from Dorkin. Now Marcus, you're in Canada, and how long have you guys been in the North American market? We've been operating production in North America for around 20 years. Oh, wow. But, uh, but the company's older than that, though, right? Yes, it's a lot older. Uh, it's 100 over 125 years old now. It started in 1892. It was originally a paint company uh, that evolved, um, started other business divisions. And around the 60s, we started making construction products as well. That's really cool. So these house wraps and roof membranes, 
What's the origin of these? When did you guys start making those? It was uh, the early 60s um, when uh, the building codes became more stringent in Germany. Mm -hmm. So when you renovated old buildings, uh, they were typically not insulated at that mm -hmm. time. Um, became mandatory to put insulation, particularly in the roof cavity. And uh, with that, because we have tiled roofs here, uh, there was no choice but to put roof underlayments below to mm -hmm. keep the water out that couldn't otherwise dry out anymore. And then as insulation values increased, um, became more and more important to make these materials vapor permeable so yeah. that, uh, that no moisture would get trapped. Right, so you've been actually making these membranes for over 60 years, right? And in fact, I learned this week that, that here in Germany, uh, they're kind of the Kleenex brand, right? People call it the delta layer, meaning the roof underlayment. And it may not be yours necessarily, although it sounds like you guys have the, by far the biggest market share here in Germany. 60 years is a long time to make this. Yes, very long time, and that also means a lot of development over many years. So Durkin um, is very proud to manufacture everything in-house. Uh, so we basically go from the, uh, from the granules to the final product, all the R&D, the development of the product was done here in-house. Um, so from originally micro-perforating sheets, which is now a way obsolete technology, um, there are a number of different concepts that Durkin developed uh, to make um, products highly watertight, mm -hmm. airtight, but at the same time highly vapor permeable. That's really cool. Tell me about availability for this, Marcus. You know, we were at the Bow Show. There's a lot of things that people in America are not going to be able to get a hold of. And we have a lot of friends uh, on the Build Show around the world, really. How can we get a hold of these products? So um, in North America, we, s we sell a, a, a small selection of membranes that have really been fine-tuned to the North American applications. And we have a number of, um, of distributors uh, mm -hmm. that carry our products. We work with uh, large contractor firms. A lot of these membranes get architecturally specific. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole existing network and you'll find us on the Dorkin.com and can find more information there. And you guys are actually in 60 countries around the world? Is that what I heard the other day? This is actually sure. over 60 countries that, uh, that, we are, that we are, we're active in. Um, a lot of Central Europe, obviously, um, like you said, Delta is the Kleenex of, uh, mm -hmm. of, uh, of these types of membranes, but it goes way beyond the European borders. Marcus, thank you so much for the tour. Jordan and I absolutely loved seeing how you guys do it here. So cool to get the behind the scenes. Guys, for more information, go to dorkin.com. That's where you can find the English version of their website and find out where you can find this in your area, no matter where you are in the world. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content on The Build Show every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.